he laughs at this. Morando. 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 That's the worst one. See, he laughs at this <laughs> every time. Word. Say your name again. Ramu de Jide. Why don't you try to say it? Yeah, why don't you say it? So how we met is me and my family went to the closet, right? They do they hold this thing where he goes to church, they hold this thing where they give out clothes and stuff like that. And we went and then I just said, Hey, thank you so much for this, right? And then Pat got in touch, like figured out a way to meet up, and then he became my mentor. It was dope. Pat, what's your story? So my story, I have a longer story. Um, so <laughs> back when he was in sixth grade and through the ransom, God was just changing my life at that time. And I was gatekeeping downtown campus. And I was gatekeeping for, for the closet. All of a sudden, this family of many <laughs> came through. And all of a sudden, I see this little boy, little sixth grade boy, start dancing. And he's just dancing. And he, he's got some moves. How small is he's uh, I'm pretty big now. Yeah, he's, he, he's pretty big now. Well, anyway, he comes up to me and he's like, I just want to thank you. And I was like, what for? I want to thank you because we don't have many clothes and this will help us. And at that point, I said, what's your name? I said, hey, G-Day, would you like to talk to my pastor and tell him that? Of course, I would. So we go up to Pastor Phil, introduce ourselves, and I just said, hey, G-Day has something to tell you. And then G-Day told him the same thing, which was, I want to thank you for this because we don't have any clothes. And at that point, Pastor Phil looked at each other, we looked at each other and we had tears running down our eyes because that was pretty special. So from there, um, again, as I said, God was, God was just moving in my life. Um, I decided that I just had to mentor this boy or had to be with him just because you could see it in him. And he was in sixth grade at that time, and now he's a junior. I was surprised, bro. I was happy because, like, at first I was like, oh, what are we going to do, you know? I haven't had a mentor before, so I was like, okay, let's see what it is. And then we started, he started talking to me. We would go to the gym and play. He brought me food, snacks at first, and then later on we'd do, like, a lot more things, like take me to, like, football games and stuff like what, that. Where? Where did we go? It's the uh, Jackrabbit games. And it, was, it was the funnest thing ever. You know, bring us cookies from California and stuff. California? <laughs> cookies from Mexico. It was dope. This isn't about me, okay? Through the ransom, if you if you listen to what they've been preaching for the past however many years, Pam and I and the kids have been, in, and our kids are gone now, but we've been going to the ransom almost from day one. Movie theater, that's where we started. If you listen to it, it's all about him. They preach truth. And it's not about me or Pam and us anymore. It's about others. I mean, look at this kid. His smile lights up a room. It does. And, I, and I've told totally the G Day, you know what? You can be whatever you want to be. And what are you looking to be? I'm going to be an agent. Oh, oh, an agent? Yeah, real an estate. agent. Real estate agent. Real estate. Yeah. What, what else have you been thinking about doing? Uh, thinking about like stuff like you know, play basketball. Also, stuff like you're looking possibly to be a pilot. I thought at one point. Pilot, yes. Pilot is dope, but like, should I like? I was thinking about like different things, like going through the military to become a pilot because mm -hmm. uh, it just makes sense. But nah, he's really, he's really like, you know, it's not, it's not like he goes out of his way, you know? He's not just doing the bare minimum. It's not like, okay, I'm gonna watch him, you know, hang out. Like, like he goes out of his way, stops what he's doing, you know, brings us stuff, get together. Like that's special. He's not just doing like the bare minimum, you know? He's, he's going farther and like actually like building something and being part of our lives. His family is so beautiful. I mean, mom and dad and, and all the kids. Um, you know what? You don't have to have much to be joyful. And they all have joyful hearts. Every one of them. That's what they've taught me and Pam. 